Hey everyone in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to add a comparison image slider to your Shopify store. This is super helpful if you're selling skincare products. You can show your customers the amazing results they'll get after using your products. Check this out on the screen. We've got two images here. One shows a lady before using the product, and the other shows the after results. Pretty cool right? And hey it's not just for skincare. You can totally use this for hair care products too. As you can see right here, or really, on any type of Shopify store you've got. The possibilities are endless. To build this image comparison section, we'll be using RS Digital's before and after image comparison. It's completely free and super easy to set up. So, let's dive right in. First click on the buy now button to head over to the checkout page. Alright, let me quickly fill in these details so we can download the section code. Alright, I've downloaded the file to my laptop. Now, just right click on the file, hover over WinRAR, and select extract here. Cool, now we've got an instructions file, two UI banners, and some demo images that we can use to test out the image comparison slider once it's all set up. Let's go ahead and open the instructions file so we can start adding the section to our Shopify store. In this file, you'll find all the steps you need to implement the section on any Shopify theme. The first step in the instructions file is to open the theme code editor. So, let's head over to our Shopify dashboard. Alright, once you're here, click on online store. As you can see, I'm using the Dawn theme, but don't worry, this works with any Shopify theme. Just follow along with the instructions, and you'll be good to go. Now, click on these three dots right here, and select edit code. Perfect, that's the first step done. Let's open up the instructions file again and check out what's next. Alright, the second step is to create a new section called image comparison. But before we do that, we need to grab the code for this section. So, just scroll down in the instructions file and copy all the code you see, it's the one we'll be pasting into our new section file. While I'm copying this code, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. You know the one on the screen. It really helps out and keeps the tutorials coming. Alright, got the code? Let's move on. Now, head back to the theme code editor. Under the sections folder, click on add new section. In the pop-up, type in image comparison all lowercase, with a hyphen, and then click the done button. Now, just paste the code we copied from the instructions file right here. Once you've pasted the code, just go ahead and click the save button to lock in those changes. Now, let's open up the instructions file again to see what's next for step 3. Scroll down a bit, alright, here we go. For the third step, we'll need to create a new CSS file under the assets directory. But before we do that, let's copy the CSS code first. Just scroll down in the instructions and grab all this CSS code. Got it? Cool. Now, let's head back to the theme editor. In the theme editor, navigate to the assets directory and click on add a new asset. Then, select create a blank file. In the extension dropdown, choose CSS, you'll notice it's selected by default, so we'll just leave it as is. Now, in the file name field, type image comparison, all lowercase with a hyphen. Once that's done, click the done button. Now, just paste the CSS code we copied from the instructions file right here. And finally, click on the save button to lock in those changes. Alright, let's open up the instructions file again to see what's next. Scroll down a bit, ok, now we need to create a javascript file under the same assets directory. But first, let's copy the JS code from the instructions file. Once you've got all the code copied, head back to the theme code editor. Now, under the assets directory, click on add a new asset, and select create a blank file. In the extension dropdown, choose JS this time since we're adding JavaScript code. In the name field, type image comparison, all lowercase with a hyphen. Once that's done, click the done button to create the file. Now, just paste all the JS code we copied from the instructions file right here. Once that's in, click the save button to lock in the changes. Awesome, 
So far, we've created our section file and added all the required CSS and JS code. Now, let's upload the UI banners. These banners will show up by default once we add the section in the theme customizer. To upload the UI banners, just click on Add a new asset under the Assets directory. Then, under Upload a File tab, click on the Add File button. As you can see, we've got two UI banners that we need to upload. Let me quickly get both of them uploaded. Alright, our image comparison section is now ready to use on the store. Go ahead and close the code editor by clicking on the exit icon at the top left corner. From here in the Shopify dashboard, just click on the customize button to open up the theme customizer. Alright, in the theme customizer, click on add section on the left hand side. And then select image comparison. That's the section we just added with our custom code. As soon as you add this section, you'll see all the UI options available to customize it to fit your store's vibe. For example, under section heading, you can update the heading text, choose the heading size, and even adjust the font weight, whether you want it normal or bold. You can also tweak the description underneath the heading, align your text, and adjust the top and bottom spacing of the section. Now, if you look over on the left side of the screen under the image comparison section, you'll see two main blocks. The before image block, where you'll upload the before images for both desktop and mobile, and the after image block, where you'll add the after images for the slider. So, let's go ahead and click on the before image block first. In the before image block, we've got two options, one to select the image for desktop, and the other for mobile. Let's start by clicking on desktop before image. In the pop-up, click on add images. As you can see, we've got some demo images included in the zip file that we can use to test out our new section. Just click on that folder. Let's go ahead and create a skincare image comparison slider first. For that, we'll need to upload all the skincare images. Let me quickly upload these skincare images. Now, select the before image for desktop and click on done. Next, click on the mobile before image. And in the pop-up, select the before image for mobile. Similar to the before image block, let me quickly add the images for the after image block to save us some time. Now that we've uploaded images for both the before and after blocks, click on the save button to lock in those changes. Once that's done, close the theme editor so we can preview the store and see it in action. To preview the store, simply click on the eye icon next to online store. Scroll down, and you'll see your 100% working image comparison slider in action. You can follow the same instructions to add this feature to any theme you're using on your Shopify store. If you get stuck or need some help, just drop a comment below, I'm always here to help. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Got questions or ideas for future videos? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.